I guess me and the van are together most of the day, yeah. We um, we're up, we started about seven in the morning or something like that. And even if you're home at sort of six o'clock at night, well, you know, you've got to clean all the van out, swap all your towels over, change them, get the water ready for the next day. My name's Steve Smith, and um, we're mobile dog grooming business. Good. All your dinner's gone out your face now, look. But every day's different. The, the dogs are different from day to day. There's nothing mundane about it. It's a great life. I, I really enjoy it. Some of the dogs are a bit dodgy, so you've, you've got to sort of go on your guard a little bit. But it's knowing how to handle dogs as well. You've got to read the dog before you can do anything with it. Right. Who's first? You first? You first. First one today was Cocker Spaniel. So the Cocker had a full clip, show clip, as it turned out. Followed by a Westie. Then followed by two Spinonis. And uh, I'm off shortly to go and do uh, a Cavalier King Charles and another Cocker Spaniel. The hygiene area, as they call it. Well, keep the hygiene area clean. Well, you have to get it right. You don't get no second chances. Dear mate, bit of a pair about you, aren't you? I do spend a lot of time in my van. Continue two and two third miles. <laughs> I guess everybody in a white van, man, in a white van, gets classed as a white van man. But you know, this is um, the biggest advertising board that's on the road at the moment. If I'm not driving, I'm taking bookings in it, or I'm clipping dogs and washing dogs in it. I'm meeting new people in it. They'll stop you at the side of the road, or stop you at the supermarket. Can I have a look? It's an ongoing event. Even when I'm driving down the road, people are looking at it because of the, the livery we have on there. But you know, this, this van is no different to a workbench in engineering. Except my van's probably better looked after, and the product's better looked after. It, it shows what we do, and we have to try and be courteous, the same as, same as we would be with the clients at their addresses. So hopefully, um, I do treat everybody right on the road. I'm not saying it can please everybody, but we don't go out of his way to act like the typical white band man. No, we don't. What are you doing, my jacket? What are you doing, my jacket? What are you doing, my jacket? Okay. What are you doing there, Steve? Well, clean it up as best I can. We don't want the dogs weeing around corners. It tends to be all over the coat, so you've got to clean the old wee. Bit of a pair about you, aren't you? Good. Comfortable for the dog, you're not straining their legs or joints. Um, this business over the recession, well, it's not bothered us at all, to be honest. I think what's happening is a lot of people will make, um, they're looking after the budget better, they're showing where they want to put the money, and it's going into the pets. They have, you know, they're putting the strength into looking after those pets, and we've not felt a thing. It's almost bomb proof, this business, as long as you're doing a good job. It's all about looking after the customer, customer service. Um, there was a pub, nice atmosphere, and then we were on to a um, Irish Wolfhound at the same place. That was groomed out and washed, so 